Hey, it's Glenn at Like Public Safety. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today I wanted to do a quick video. Um, I'm kind of sad that I'm not at the IAFSM conference this year. I know a lot of my team members are, are there and hopefully they're learning lots and helping lots of folks out in um, Colorado. Um, due to the rules, I couldn't make it this year just with COVID and all that. So next year I'm, I hope to come out. But I thought I'd create something that, you know, what I can create remotely, not even even um, setting foot in Colorado. I know they're doing a reconstruction here at the First Bank Center. So I thought I'd kind of see what I could do without even being on site to create a pre-plan um, example of something you, anyone can do if you're doing, um, you want to do a simple map outline of a building to get a feel for the general geography, say there's a big event like this and you want to do some security planning. Um, so a quick Google here of First Bank Center, it's in Broomfield, Colorado. Um, we can go look at the, the maps of the, the place right here. Um, and even just using Google, we can we can pop in and you know what I've done is kind of taken screen caps of all these street view views so we can actually go around the building and get a good idea of what's going on here um, as well as the 3d you know views of you know here's the east side of the building and the north um, but we can kind of take these and create a scale drawing so what I've done is done some screen caps of the first bank building as well as I found some interior maps so we're going to use those and I'm just going to show you how we build that up in map 360 so to get started I did a top-down view of the building to draw this outline and really what I started with as I'll turn it on here is the imagery so in map 360 we can grab the GPS from from Bing is what I use then you can import a Bing image right inside a map 360 from there what I did next is looking top down I added on a bunch of points so we can basically click around the outside of the building using this point tool here and we can go around and kind of do the outline and then we can use that to draw this sketch line so we can use the points to do all the sketching so if we turn that off, I'm already on that layer. You can't move to a layer unless you've got a different one enabled. So let's do that. So if we turn the points label on and we go to the points layer, then we can turn off the image layer. Just like that. So I've got the image layer turned off and in here you've got we've got all our points. And you can kind of see an outline of some of the different points that I shot. Um, but I'm just going to keep layering this up as it makes more sense. So we we take our image, we can do an outline of it, we can add points to it, um, and the next thing we can do is we can start dimensioning it. So I've used our analysis and di our dimensioning tools over here. Where are they? On the labeling tab. And you can basically label all these widths and lengths to get a feel for I did this in meters it's 170 meters you know from here to here um, and kind of gives you an idea of the entrances there's a, the main entrance is 13 meters long we can add scale we know that this is the loading dock down here so we can start dimensioning I'm just going to turn on what I've done is created a layer here for the door area so if you wanted to as part of your planning say well where are all the entrances and exits um, I made a layer to create all the key door areas so you could be advised we got two exits on the east a loading dock to the south we have the main entrance and exit right here to the west and there's two um, uh, doors to the north so basically if you're planning you can you you kind of know where things are at let's turn on a few more of these and i'm just bringing any of these layers we can add or remove down the road so i turned on my evidence we're just going to turn everything on there we go so we can look at everything so 
After we're done dimensioning, we can add layers to everything. So I've added an, a layer to add these labels and leaders to better spell out what's what. And, and what I've done with the evidence markers is you can go in here and create an evidence marker to drop anywhere on your scene. You just have to assign a point number. But what I did is go and um, take these pictures from that I captured from the building and use them as reference evidence markers. So on any of these markers, I have the east view, the north view, and so on and so forth. So let me just see if we can bring one up here. So we can attach that image here. We can preview it. So this is what the image looks like to the west that's attached to that evidence marker. So I just scraped this from, from Google and, and pasted it in here. Um, and then we attach this to evidence marker one in this example, evidence marker 100. Um, so we now have evidence markers 200, 300 and 400 is what I did. So at 200 here, Let's see what we have there. It's going to open my evidence window here and I can have a look at what this image is. So there's the north view um, to the center and so on and so forth. We don't have to go through them all, but basically now I've got a good pre-plan distances, entrances, exits a legend of um, evidence markers and on these evidence markers you can actually attach a video as well which I'll show you so we can then start um, creating different scale drawings so we may want to publish these out as a PDF to share with our team you can do multiple different views or inside of map 360 and you can customize these as well so once you're happy with your drawing you can just go in here and hit share and export that out to PDF so let me see if I have mine handy here. I'm going to open my PDF here. And here's an example of the drawing that we've created in a full exportable PDF. What's cool is we do have all the layer support. Um, let me just see if it'll do that, if I can. Sometimes these screen sharings throw you a bit of a loop here. There we go, man. And you can turn on and off layers as you like. So say I don't want to see the image, I can turn that off. Or if I want to turn off these any of these layers I can do that so maybe I want to not show where the doors, doors are I can do that as well so now we can actually go in here and if we click on evidence report we can attach a title page we can attach our drawing and it will create an evidence report for from us so I've already done that so I'm just going to cancel that and bring over my evidence report um, so we can add your agency logo or, or a basic just outline we have the pre-planned drawing showing the entrances and exits. And then we have our full evidence report legend as well. So each evidence marker, the pictures are attached and they can just pop out. And we're able to view them in closer detail if we want to, just in the photo pro <coughs> program in, excuse me, in Windows. Um, I also did a quick um, movie. You can attach movies to any evidence report as well. Um, so here's, I kill myself talking here, but um, this video is embedded in the evidence report and it's just a scroll around a 3D view just to help you get a little bit better lay of the land. So any evidence report, you can do pictures, movies, audio clips, anything else related to evidence that you want to attach. It's embedded so that you just have to email this one PDF and whoever's viewing it can get more detail as they like so there's the east view uh, this is out kind of by the highway because of google i couldn't get in that close 
um, because I'm, I'm just doing these completely remotely, never having set foot um, near this building. I'm just doing this remotely from my office, home office here in uh, near Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, I also found the interior maps, so I attached those to Evidence Marker 500. So hope that was helpful, how you can make a pre-planned drawing um, in Map 360. Um, hope you guys are enjoying your time at the conference and learning lots. And if you want to learn anything more about uh, mapping or how to capture, preserve, and document evidence from, from the scene that you're shooting there, feel free to get in touch with me anytime. Take care.